we, we plan to do is just to try and plug them holes where they try and play. That's the biggest thing, and I thought we were able to do that. Uh, John, what are your thoughts? You, you made an edgy, quiet place come half time, and then you stirred the beast a little bit. Um, yeah, we did. To be honest, I just thought uh, really, really proud of the boys. I think you know when we seen you know the team sheet, uh, we were quite surprised. To be honest, I think you know uh, we were expecting a couple more you know of the, the younger boys to come into it, which they've been introducing in the league. Um, and then when you see a fully loaded team like that, you do start to think, wow, this is you know big, big football now in a way, as such. You know, coming to Manchester United, but uh, again, we stuck to the game plan. Uh, but the, the idea was to. Frustrate them, close the gaps in front of the four, um, our back four, and I thought we'd done that to a man really. Um, I can't remember, you know, obviously they would give away territory and the, the possession and such, but uh, I was really proud of that first half performance. Did you think they responded that way in the second half? You presumably sort of talking about keeping the plan the same way. We were in a way, but I just felt as though we had opportunities to counter first half and we didn't actually take the ball. And the, the, we went into half time and just said we need to take more of the ball, and I think that's what happened, I thought. You know, we've had our better shot, a goal in a way, and before you know it, six, seven seconds, it's in the back of your net. So, uh, you know, it's things that we can learn from, but you see it every every week, you know, in the Premier League, how these boys can just turn it on in a split second. If you don't keep that gap closed, as Marcus has found that little pocket in the left-hand side, which we tried to plug up, especially in that first half, which I thought we did, and um, he gets that opportunity, and you, you're hoping he's going to put it wide, but it ends up into the top, th uh, top corner, so... Uh, yeah, it's one of them. It's, you know, you, sometimes you just, you know, you, you you lose a goal to a top class player. Ollie, Ollie said on TV that he thought the first half would be, it was better for United than Man United than the second one. Do you, do you agree? Is it surprising to hear? Um, I listen. I, I, you look when we go back and watch the analysis. Some of their one twos and some of their passing and passing and moving and passing and following and creating overloads is. Is extraordinary, and all we, we plan to do is just to try and plug them holes where they try and play. That's the biggest thing, and I thought we were able to do that. Um, obviously, I think you know the, the goal definitely opens it up. There's no question of that. I think straight, you know, I think 50 odd minutes, um, and then before you know it, you're finding yourself three 0 down. And I think we just, especially the second goal, we didn't really condense again. Really, I think on a turnover, we didn't really close them gaps, and that's when they were able to get into them little channel areas, which. In the first half, we, we plugged up, uh, but again, you know, I'm, I'm really, really proud of the players for the application and uh, the attitude, and you know, to come to Manchester United um, so far in a cup competition to what to where we've come from, it's a, it's a brilliant achievement. So, John, you must be so proud of the Donald Trump run that you've had just tonight, but the, the whole run you've had in this competition, then the second time that Manchester United have reached this stage of the. No, I'm immensely proud. Yeah, um, it's been a, a wonderful journey for the players, the staff, the chairman, the fans. You're looking at the fans tonight, you know, close to 6,000 fans. It's it's fantastic for them, you know, taking a day off work to do the travelling. They're going to get home, uh, you know, early hours in the morning. If not, they're going to stay over. So it's a huge commitment by all the fans. But uh, we've got to use this again because it's a wonderful occasion. There's no getting around it. To play Manchester United, uh, you know, Old Trafford, it's a wonderful occasion. Um, to take them to nil another half time, it's another you know, shot in the arm for us and now we've got to build on that and um, we've only got now the league to play for and that's now, you know, come thick and fast over the festive periods and we've got to get ourselves ready for that. You had to do that quickly, weren't you, ahead of Saturday's game, is that Yeah, you know, the chairman's looked after us, we were able to stay over tonight so we'll, we'll get a good, uh, good night's sleep, recover well in the morning and then travel back and then, as I say, we'll do the analysis tomorrow and Friday for Carlisle.